one in the oven. The oven. All right, the oven's preheated. We're here with rapper and bucket list specialist, Easy the Phoenix. Yes, sir. How y'all doing? <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Easy the Phoenix, bucket list specialist. We about to do some things right here. Stay tuned. Back at home at Nomia? Yeah, man. It feels like we're back home. Right in, this, right in the corner in the front, we love this. This is, we're sipping on the Suntory whiskey. They got the, the highball sun. machine. Yeah, they got the highball machine, the only one in Long Island. Every Thursday night, you gotta come hang out. They're doing karaoke again. I'm Mario. That's my Croatian co-host, Franco, a.k.a. Papa Fazul. Yes, sir. Papa. We're The Oven Podcast. Don't forget, follow us on all the socials. Keep sharing the show. Hit that share button nonstop. And if you haven't already, spank that subscribe button. I was waiting for that. I know you, I know you missed the spank. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> so we're going to get to the album dropping on That's July hard. 4th. Yes, we're excited sir. for that. Man. But before we dive into the specifics mm -hmm. on that, we got one question for Talk you. Talk to me. What made you pick us to join in on the album? Ah, uh, well, there's a couple of things. So I got to give credit where it's due. Uh, my partner in crime in this music game is uh, CZ Wonder. Sitting right over there. Sitting That's our boy over, over there. there. That's my Beast bro. on the beats, baby. Yeah, man. So he, he has a special skill, and he always says it. Like, he's, he finds, he's like an investor for talent. So he goes and he finds people that he knows are going to blow up. Said that's how he found me. Said that. So he, he told me straight up, yo, these boys is doing something special over there in New York. We got to get in touch with them. So it started just being like, man, let's try to work with them and get here. Yeah, yeah, sit yeah. at the table with y'all. And then once we started chilling and you did the little sample on the oven song for us that we could talk about mm -hmm. all day. I heard it and I'm listening to it and I'm like, wait a minute. We had another dude in line, great dude, but when we heard your voice doing it and your energy, it was it was a the light went over over my head and I'm like, okay, Mario gotta be the narrator, the Morgan Freeman of this <laughs> album. Morgan you Freeman. know what I mean? Yeah. Franco hates yeah. that right now. I'm not, I love that right now. Are you kidding me? I love the Morgan yeah, Freeman voice. Man, That's so, great. And and just to just to let you know, fam, you did perfect. I appreciate perfect, it. Perfect, brother. It was yes, it was sir. amazing. I, I can't wait for all y'all to hear it. It's July fourth. July fourth, yeah, baby. And we Fireworks got, is going off. That's it. You know? We got Frank on the ad libs, right? Come on, we got the whole family. Yeah, man. Yeah, when you hear the ad libs, you're gonna know it's Frank. Oh, trust me. He was built for that. He was built Dude, for it. Yeah. I got into that, man. Yeah. I, I was sitting there in the room. I put the I put the mic up on like the top of the dresser, and I was getting into it. I kind of wish I was there for that. <laughs> I should have filmed that. I, I would have to catch that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's get to those apps. Yeah. So the apps are ready. No, Mia, we're back to eat, baby. Come on. Can you get over there. Give me a second. Yeah, figure out your chopsticks before we start the next segment. All right. We're keeping that. Look at this kid. I would be good today. Yeah, you're gonna be all right? Yeah. We got the shishito peppers, the crispy rice, and tuna, right? That's tuna yeah, on the top spi of that? The spicy crispy tuna rice. Yeah. Spicy, it's, crispy, a, it's a mouthful, rice. it's a mouthful, but I got it down. This is part of my diet right here. And then the rock and roll shrimp. Yep, dig in. It's you first, man. Yeah. I'm going right here. I'm sorry. That's where I'm headed. I had to put that in the front for yeah, the showing, I mean, you know? that one, I gotta have it. Mario's dropping at least one of these. Bang. Mm. <laughs> I'm good. Mm. I'm good. Look, I'm mm. gonna grab this too. That's mm -hmm. two for two. Mm -hmm. Give me a little give me a plug on. <laughs> give me a little pepper. That's three for three, kid. So these peppers are originally hot. Mm. But I guess when the way that they cook them, it takes the, the spiciness out of it and just gives really? it just the flavor. Oh, I love them. Because hot peppers and meat, I love them, but my body doesn't love them. Yeah, facts. So I can these are the only ones <laughs> I can eat. Oh, that's but, fine. Right? Mm-hmm. The food, just the spices that they use over here. This is like true, like Asian fusion over here, man. Yeah, that's this impressive. Is... Look at the size of this shrimp. <laughs> so, before I get into Rise, obviously we want to talk about that coming out July 4th. I want to talk about that trip, man. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about that trip. You just got back yesterday. I would love last to night. talk about that trip. Let's mm -hmm. talk about it. I want you to take us through. I, mean, I feel like I've been living vicariously through you entirely, like through all your posts Same. and everything. I, feel, I really that. feel like I was at the night, like, like the, the, the full moon party, yeah. everything. Like. Man, it was one of those trips. It's crazy. I've been talking about Thailand for a while. Okay. I don't really know why. Sometimes I get an obsession for something and I just start, I want to do this. I want to do this. It's one of those things where I finally got there, man, and it was like exceeded my expectations in every way. Really? Thailand is the shit. Okay. I really, really enjoyed it. Got out there. 
had my birthday out there. For my birthday, chilled with the elephants. A week later, lived with the monks for 10 days. So I saw that. That was that, a wild experience. That, I was going to say, that had to be Bro, a crazy experience, man. Probably one of the craziest experiences of my life. Um, you, I learned a lot about, you know, I'm, I'm hype, man. You know, I'm, from, I'm half my life in Boston, half my life in Miami. So you, got, you, you know, some of like, wild dude, you know, I love <laughs> wild shit. So it was, it was a big thing for me to go out there and was kind of learn from the monks how to be calm, yep. how to let shit go, how to chill, you know? And I feel like they really taught me breath work. Sounds saying. crazy to even talk about it because I've never been on that, but breath work, meditation, the proper way to do everything, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So for me, every time I say it, it sounds a little corny saying it, but it's like, it was one of them life changing joints for me. Oh, that's what we want to hear, man. Yeah, life changing, life changing experience. Yeah, that's a vacation. Oh yeah. That, that's a trip, was, that's not even a vacation. Tri exactly, it was a trip. It was a trip, man. And every trip is different, you know? Yep. Some are just pretty and beautiful and eating nice food, but this was like, shit got real, mm -hmm. got deep. I got into, these people in front of me got into a scooter accident. Oh my this God. This chick flips over her bike. She just cut me off, right? And I'm on that, I'm on that, it's Budo. That's what we say in the thing, <laughs> Budo. It's like, okay, she cut me off. I'm like, ah, no worries. 10 seconds later, the guys in front of her crash into each other. She hits them, wah, 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 flips over. I almost avoid the bullshit. And her tire caught the front of my bike and my toe gets on cut up on the joint. Oh, so you got the brunt of it. You got yeah, the tire. Yeah, bro, and it <laughs> tore my bike up. You know what I'm saying? So, I I, saw, yeah. When I saw that video on Instagram, I was like, yeah, what is going on over there? It was there? a preposterous situation, man. <laughs> and then the dog with the eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah, they painted eyebrows on the dog. I'm like, where am I? What's, what's going on? Yeah, where that, exactly. Is this, is this city fake? It looks like, crazy. Yeah. So Thailand, I mean, Thailand used to be, you know, like we just said a little while ago before mm -hmm. the show, like, you know, two years ago, it was mm -hmm. like the electric chair for weed over there. You yeah. get caught smoking weed, it's like hard drugs. That's how I always heard growing but, up. Yeah. yeah. So they were always like, don't even bring anything over there. Exactly. So they can have the guy, the girls with penises, but no, no <laughs> <That's> crazy. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> That's crazy. Right? That's a good point. <laughs> um, no, it's just, it's just crazy. And what, what's also crazy is, is how fast the you know the narrative on on marijuana changed over there. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. you could just you were saying you could just spark up anywhere over oh, there. Oh, right? wild! I've never seen anything like it. Like even compared to Jamaica, uh, Amsterdam, it's got them beat. 100 percent really i it was got, it got amsterdam beat and it's so in your face it's wild it's it's basically i would say not to be even ridiculous it's probably like at least every seven to eight stores is a weed store really you go to a place to get food i guarantee you they got a shelf with weed on it you go to a spot anywhere and you're, they're selling weed the scooter rentals Selling you weed. <laughs> have a spot where you can buy weed. And they got pre-rolls. It's a wild situation, man. Yeah, and you can light up anywhere. There's really no judgment. Like, one word I kept feeling in Thailand was freedom. And that's what you want from vacation, too, 100%. right? 100%. You know, we live in this, we live in this part of the world that's, that's very... Freedom. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> not. And you take this part away, yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, shit, this is what it feels like. Yeah. To really be free, really to see people who are happy. And it's a place where... It almost like everyone where I was at, from the monastery to just Thailand in general, it almost feels like everyone's either running from something, looking for something, or they found it and they went there to relax from it. You know, so Love it's that. a very, no one's judging you. Everyone's trying to find themselves out yeah, there. Yeah. And that's really cool to be around because it gives you the energy and the space to be like, all right, what the fuck do I yeah, need? You start head, really headspace, thinking man. about it. Yeah. Yeah, because they're all looking to grow. They're all looking mm -hmm. to change. And you're in different type of conversations where uh -huh. they're sparking things in your mind. Where you're like, fuck, yeah. yeah, let me think about that. That's a pretty good point. And, you know, definitely. So it's just like one of those crossroad places. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you said, it's so weird to have such a, like a holy part of Thailand to it. Such a spiritual side. And then such a nasty, dirty side. Yeah. You're like, this is a crazy <laughs> country, man, yeah, you know? Man. Yeah. You're really, and, you're really talking me into going to Thailand. Like, oh, Thailand. brother, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I was on the FaceTime with my brother while I was out there, and I'm like, bro, if I ever kind of just disappear for a while, I'm like, I'm, I'm here. You know I'm like, just so you know, man, I'm, I'm here, because it's, it's, to me, I've been to a lot of countries now, a lot of states, a lot. Bro, you know. your passport book? 
If, if you haven't seen this man's passport hey, book, man. it literally looks like he just took a stamp and just did it himself Yo. because it's every page. Oh. I have two stamps in my passport book. <laughs> literally two. And the, the worst part was Travel Europe. Don't, in three, three places, two. they didn't stamp them. That's some bullshit. I hate when you I, do I almost that. went back and I was like, mm -hmm. can you please like just hit this again? <laughs> but it's crazy. That's I, want, I wanted to put some put some stamps mm -hmm. in my book. I've Even, had the same thought. It's crazy, man. You know, his, his book is literally, he's flipping through the pages. The bucket list special. Yeah, man. You yeah. know, it's, it's been an obsession for a long time. My mom used to tell me, I grew up in Boston, you know, and my mom said I would always say like, as soon as I'm old enough, I'm, I'm out of here and I'm just going to start going around the world. And yeah, she yeah. thought I was just, you know, talking shit. As soon as I got old enough, I... Started with Miami, been in Miami like 17 years now. That's a whole fucking episode by itself. Miami, it, Miami is like a foreign place. It is. <laughs> Miami, it's, Miami's it's, its own world over it's there. It's up there, like if Thailand's the wildest spot I've seen, Miami's like the third. Wow. I don't even know who would be second, but I'm trying to give them both. You know? <laughs> Miami's fucking out of his mind, and I love it. I'm obviously a little crazy because I've been there 17 years, but it's such a contrast from where we grew up on this side. Well, Miami closes at 4 and opens at 4 or 5. Exactly. <laughs> Which I love. <laughs> I love. And you get spoiled with that shit. Yeah. I'm out here visiting my mom, but I'm like going to the liquor store at 12. It's closed. I'm looking around like, the fuck is yeah, this? Yeah, Mario would, would be eating breakfast in the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it. I can't. He's done it. <laughs> the, the, those strip club breakfast specials? Mm -hmm. The eggs and bacon? That's I've it. done it. <laughs> those, those strip eggs and bacon are good. <laughs> so speaking of freedom, mm -hmm. you travel a lot. I do, bro. You... You have mm. that freedom that some people wish they had. Mm. What's the secret to getting yourself to that point in life? All right. It's going to sound crazy at first, right? Because mm. there's a couple of things I'm going to say about it. But first thing is your mindset. Mm. Sounds crazy, right? You no, know what I'm saying? It doesn't, but... it doesn't, though. All right. Listen. So this is my business. I started this 10 years ago, right? And the line right under at the bottom is, you don't need to be rich to travel the world. That's been my mindset since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So it's literally like... Think about your life, right? And then think about your habits because everybody has them, good, bad, whatever. People like shopping, people like coffee, people like drinking, people like smoking weed, people like restaurants with their girl. Hey, let's I go. I like all five of those things. Me bro. too. Problem. Life is expensive, <laughs> you know? So. He's like, just talking if, about myself. <laughs> if you're taking your girl out every week, that's beautiful, but you probably dropping what? 100 to 200, depending on the restaurant, to 300 if you like yeah. it like that, 500 if you're getting sexy, you know, how where you want to take mm -hmm. it, but okay. Franco likes those espresso martinis. They're you know? delicious. <laughs> I do too. You know, it's crazy, but so is he. <laughs> if you was to ever sit down with me, like, you know, free, free consultations for now, you know, but anyway, if you sit down with me, I was to ask you, what, what are your spending habits, right? Boom. And then I would say, what do you want to do off your bucket list? We would get on Google. I start looking shit. I would be like, all right, well, your, your bucket list item costs this much. So you're going to have to substitute this, this, and this for the next however many months when we figure out how much your monthly income is. And then we can figure out, ah, right, you could do that shit in two months. If you and, really, and still come back comfortable. If you really want to do it. But that's if you really want to do it because life is funny. And then yep. they'll throw some weird shit in your way like a new chick comes your way and she's really sexy. And then you want to get those 500 dinners. And then the trip gets pushed back two months, three mm -hmm. months, two months. Yep. And now you're back in the... Be back in a cycle. So it's there. all about like delayed gratification, discipline. Yes, sir. Yeah. And yeah. really wanting it. Like I know, I know I need them. Like I get back from the trip yesterday. I got back yesterday, 8 a.m. And my mom picked <laughs> me up. And he's here right now. Yo, I love <laughs> and I promise y'all, no bullshit. I have to say this. The only reason I came back on yesterday was to sit with y'all at this Bro, table. Cheers so, to that. Yeah, King shit. Yeah, yeah, come on, fam. This is for I real. I finished my Santori already. Yeah, now nah, I'm about to. But, can you get me the, can you order another one of those? I'll take another one too, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So, can we get some more Centauris? Can we get uh, two more of this, the whiskey Centauris? Thank you. Thank you. I didn't mean to cut you off, but. Nah, yeah, so, thirsty over here. I, I lied about those peppers, they're a little hot. Oh, my brother. No. Thank you. That wasn't a cough in the beginning, that was a choke. <laughs> I was choking on the spice. The spice got caught in my throat, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was. I didn't, I think that would be my whole answer. I don't even have a second answer. I, I think, think that answer was mindset. perfect. Yeah, yeah, all right, bet. Yeah. Because a lot of people ask me that, especially on the Thailand trip. Mm -hmm. And I wanted that. I've been waiting on that. You know, I want people to be like, yo, what's going on? How the fuck you travel like this? Yeah, yeah, You know, I got people I work with. We got the same job, and then they don't do shit. And then they're looking at me like, how you do all this? And I'm like, bro, because I want to. Exactly. And dude. life is simple like that. And we do what we want to do. Good, bad, ugly. We want to do it. We do it. And I really like some people don't understand it's like it, you know manifestation is one thing a, but you know you tell yourself you're going to do something you either talk about it and mm -hmm. do it or you just talk about it mm -hmm. you know and there's a lot of people that just talk about it. like they like hearing it come out of their mouth mm -hmm. they, they like hearing themselves speak but it's a bad habit 
Yeah. It's a bad habit. Sure is. Last year, we're having to go. <clears throat> That's that pepper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> Last year we were having a conversation. I had a few things like just not work out. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to cut you off, but if you really choked on camera, that would be, that would be yeah. viral. <laughs> Drop that too. <laughs> <laughs> but a few things weren't going my way, and like I was talking to Franco, and like he, his response, I, like I, I, I talked for like five minutes, and he goes, "Oh, bro, like why don't you just do it?" Mm -hmm. And I'm like, "This motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try that. Yeah. Like, it sounds so no, good, but it's you know, it really is like 100%. that. You know, like I, like I, I don't want to sound like ridiculous when I say this, but I don't do anything that I don't want to do. Beautiful you know? thing. Like that's mm -hmm. what it comes down to. Like, but mm -hmm. it, it, I'm also at the point where, like, you know, if I commit to something. Mm -hmm. I do it, mm -hmm. but even, even if I don't want to, you know, like, it, like it, I'll wake up in the morning and be like, damn, I really don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it because my, you know, my word mm -hmm. means a lot, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing stuff that I want to do. But you no. got to have non-negotiables with yourself. That's important. But, and I, but this man has non-negotiables, dude. No, like, like, th there's times when I'm like, I, I texted him the other day, and we I don't remember what we were talking about, but I, I don't know. I, what did I say to you? I was like, you know what, man? Like, why don't you go be ornery somewhere else? <laughs> I was like, it's 9 a.m. Like, like, are you kidding me already? <laughs> he said something I want. I didn't want to do. <laughs> oh. you, gotta, you gotta know yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta know yourself. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so you didn't want to do it. You want to do it. From all these trips you've yeah. been on, what's the most memorable food that you've gotten into? Mmm. Thailand or anywhere? Anywhere. Italy. Italy. Done. Okay. Hands down. That shit is so impressive. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's the best food in the world, in my opinion. Fresh. I love Italian in general, but going out there and having the regular shit I've had out here, pizza, pasta, all that. And having it with the fresh, mm -hmm. fresh, fresh, it's like, whoa, that's really good, man. Yeah, so I would say Italy is definitely my number one. What's your favorite dish from there? Like a good, just straight up bread pasta. Like red sauce pasta. That's it. I see. I mean, you can throw whatever else, sausage, meatballs, whatever on there. But if the, the sauce is the main thing, that's like, oh my God, it's just what different, is right? this? Yeah, yeah. And then, damn. That's a tough one, man. I love food, bro. No, that's, no, that's, bro, that's, me that's too. Getting, that's getting tough. We, like we were in Europe uh, two weeks mm -hmm. ago, and like the the food that sticks out the most to me was mm -hmm. the peri peri chicken from Lisbon. Ooh, like the peri, oh, dude. Peri peri chicken. No, and it was like nine bucks. I'm googling it. Nine dollars peri mm -hmm. peri chicken, full like a full chicken, mm -hmm. rice, fries, and a salad. Nine dollars. That's beautiful. The water mm -hmm. cost more than the than the food did. <laughs> I love Portuguese food. Yeah. Yeah, the Portuguese food is special, man. It really is. How long were y'all out there? So he didn't take the trip, unfortunately, but we were there for, we did 12 days. I mm -hmm. mixed it up a little bit. Started in Ireland, went to uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam was, was a fake city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Went to Prague, Czech Republic, which was pretty, like that? Pra Prague was cool. Been. It was, it, it was the one trip, it was the one part of the trip that if, if I could go back, mm -hmm. I would switch it out with a different country. And there's always one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a, it was just a different place, mm -hmm. man. Guys are like, guys are like, Making noises with Alice when we walk past, like we clearly looked like we were. Yeah. You know, everyone walks on cocaine. Meet I'm like, mm -hmm. no, bro, I'm go, 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 go. I'm like, get out of here. I got that in Lisbon a little bit. Lisbon, every, all day. Oh my all god, day. the closest I came to fighting in another country Dude, in a I long time. Believe, I'm really. like, bro, get the fuck off yeah. me. I'm telling them, you know, usually, usually I'm good. Somebody asks you once, you say nicely, like, I'm good, fam. Thank you. Yeah. You know, look him in the eyes, cool. Exactly. Second time, it's like, my man, you know, a little more firm. I'm good, fam. You know, now I contact yeah. like. Yeah. Third time, it's like, yo, my man, get the fuck away yeah, from me. Like, yeah, and, they, and I got four or five of these motherfuckers. I'm like, okay, this could be a problem. Yeah. And that was the first time I, you know, you, you clench up a little yeah. bit. Like, all right, we about it, to bro. do something. Like, yeah, but it was it was the same vibe y'all was just saying. Coke, 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 Coke. Like, yeah, like, they remind me of the fucking seagulls from Finding Nemo. Yeah, my, 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 so I'm like, yeah. I don't want to change how I walk just because y'all are bothering me. And then right. I'm sweating. That, that, me, me and you are a lot of the same. Yes. We got a seven and five yeah. eights head. Mm -hmm. We both just stroll. Oh, I got sorry. one pace, bro. Mm -hmm. I have one pace. And I left. sweat. Oh, dude. Oh, listen. Hey, this is sweat rag. <laughs> I keep it with me all the time. In just case I have to. Yeah, I it goes you, right I'm, back here. I might this need one fact, of those. <laughs> I've lived in Miami 17 years and it's been some awkward moments where I don't have the sweat rag and I'm like, no, nah, and You're it's like, just coming and down. Well, they, and I'm like, oh, well, they need get more nervous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll tell anybody, like, I got buddies that can sweat and still look like themselves. Like, I'm not a sexy sweater. You oh, get me? No, dude. I start sweating. People are like, yo, you okay? You know, you want some water? I got buddies that, you know, they got like the LeBron sweat. They still look regular. No, when I start sweating, it's a problem and everybody can see it. It's, it's hard. Bro. I don't understand how some people, like, it's, it's getting hot out here now. Mm -hmm. Long Island summer. Long Island mm -hmm. summer is hot. Obviously, Miami is mm -hmm. hot all the time, but 
Some people just go out and don't sweat. Mm -mm. Is that a thing? Uh, it's, it's a thing. It's been 80 something Phil, degrees. Phil, Phyllis raising her hand. Phyllis goes out and just doesn't yeah, sweat. She, she's like, a weirdo. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense to me. People are sweaters. People mm -hmm. are sweaters. I'm still. sweating right I'm now while you. eating these peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Atlantic roll, my favorite at this place. It was delicious. I, I think it was, there. I think it's your favorite because you get to light it on fire before you eat it. Yeah. Which that, that might be, that might be it. I got the teriyaki. <laughs> I didn't get to see that. <laughs> I got teriyaki chicken over here. And we got the short rib on this side. I mean, this is these are three of the top top meals over here. But you don't miss anything. Can't miss on anything when, when you come to Mia. So this is one of my one of my favorite meals though. From here, the teriyaki Looks chicken. Fire. So I know you've battled some health concerns. You battled some health issues. Yes, sir. So yeah. how did it change your outlook on life? You know, I know you battled some heart issues. Mm -hmm. And how did it change you as an artist? That's a great question, bro. So as far as how it changed me as like a person, you know, every single way, I was a lot more arrogant when I was younger. Before It humbled me is the best way I could say it. And it makes you realize you're not invincible. Yeah, bro, and people need to get humbled, and I'm sure I needed it at the time. So it happened 13 years ago, you know, and I was, that was before, it's basically the reason I do the whole bucket list thing. The reason I call myself the Phoenix, like I never called myself the Phoenix before that surgery. I was gonna ask about that. So that changed my whole music name. Rise from the edge. Rise from. I love Come on, you above, say all it, above all the bullshit. Above all the bullshit. Who's that? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Bring it back from the top. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> mm -hmm. So musically, it changed literally my identity as a musician and as a person. It made me appreciate life a lot more. It made me understand that life is impermanent. And, and we all know that. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you get smacked in the face. Like, hey, bro, this ain't forever. Mm -hmm. You know, it made me appreciate my mom more. It made me appreciate moments more. A lot of times for a long time, and I feel like people do this shit. You'll be in a conversation, but your mind's somewhere else. And you're almost doing like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The person might be telling you some real shit, and you ain't even there in that moment. Because I was going to Turks and Caicos. I'm going here. And then when it's all done, I almost didn't feel anything. Like I was yeah, numb, yeah. I was there, but I wasn't even there. So since the surgery, I've learned really how to appreciate the moments, sitting with y'all. And mm -hmm. connect with people. And connect with people, be Slow there. Slow that moment Yeah, down. and the monks reiterated on that. A, a lot of the time they kept saying, hey, and it's, it's, it's really cool because they speak very broken English, but mm -hmm. they get the point across yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah. And they're like, this, this body, this body, not forever. You know, and he's talking about how you need to really focus more on what's inside. And it's just something we all know. Yeah. But to hear it again, is like, damn, that shit is real, man. This is just the vessel. The, spirit, the, vessel, the spirit lives man. on, yeah. Yeah. you know? Especially hearing it from people that aren't your parents, yeah. you know, people who you, like, you, who you respect as professionals. Yeah, man. You know, it's, it's different. It's, it's real. And to be real, the whole bucket list specialist, the, one of the main goals is turning this into basically like a make-a-wish nonprofit thing. You know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. Trying to go to hospitals, meet people that's in that position and be like, what you need, bro? Yeah, Talk man. to me, man. I'm gonna have some fun with you. We're gonna fucking forget about it for one day. And you're gonna have this check. Win, lose, draw, whatever the outcome yeah, is, yeah. we're gonna have this fucking day. So that's what I wanna get to. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Because it matters to me now. You know? Like, Give, giving back is, is huge. Bro, it's the worst feeling to not have your house. Oh, dude. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's man. the worst feeling, man. It's fucking nuts. Bro. I I had compartment syndrome in both my legs. Obviously, not yeah, as serious no, as but it's heart serious, issues, bro. but. Being 23 years old and not mm -hmm. being able to go for a run. You know, like, you know when you're stressed mm -hmm. and the, the best medicine yeah. is just that long run with Absolutely. your headphones in? Yeah. And feeling like a bird with clipped wings mm -hmm. where I just, I couldn't run without so, feeling like my legs were going to explode. Good way to put it. Yeah, bird with it clipped all, wings, yeah. So, health is wealth, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm understanding now, you know, like, you know, everyone was making fun of me before about my virgin uh, mm -hmm. eyeball, you know, but mm -hmm. I'm cutting back on the alcohol and mm -hmm. focusing on the gym, you know, I'm... Mm -hmm. I'm I've been Good slacking you, with man. my meditation this year. That's on, That was on my 2024 goals. Bro. Been slacking with that. Meditation but is tough. Man. It is tough, and it's such a routine thing, right? So my mom's super calm, basically a Buddhist. My ex was a yoga teacher, so I've always been around meditation, this and that. But I would really only do it maybe like 15 minutes a week. 15, 15 minutes a lot, though, man. Oh, yeah, a week. Like 15 yeah. minutes at a time at a clip. Is yeah, like... like but I was really shoddy. So then when I go to the monastery, we're doing six hours of meditation a day. Wow. My mind was bugging out the first couple of days. I'm like, what the fuck? You thinking of stuff oh, you really never thought about in a long time? Six hours. Six hours. You do walking meditation. You do sitting meditation. You do lay down meditation. 
Then you go take a break, you do whatever, you have lunch, you do walking meditation, sit down meditation, lay down in can, some room. Can I just do sit down meditation? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> or I can I actually just do the lay down meditation? It's, it's still nothing other than the sit down meditation. It, after a little while, I was getting tight. I was tight, bro. I got I had knee surgeries, right? And it made my hips tight. Yo, you feel it when you're trying to sit with the with the Buddha sit? It's really tough, man. I would do the dirtiest things in this world to get a new right hip. Oh, I feel you. Oh my, my <laughs> you're god. You're telling me mine's torn. <laughs> I would do the mm -hmm. I have two torn shoulders. I would take the hip before the shoulder. Oh, I get you. Like, I get that, man. It, it, that's the only part of me that makes me feel like I'm a little bit old. Is mm -hmm. when I get when I'm, mm -hmm. we were walking around Amsterdam, walking on the cobblestone. <laughs> And we get to Lisbon yeah, on all the cobblestone. First of all, bro, Lisbon is like 45 degree angles. All those hills. Ev everywhere. That's real. I'm mm -hmm. walking up the stairs and I'm like, now I'm sweating. <laughs> Look at Rob, I'm like, yo, my hips, bro. <laughs> like, bro, my hips kind of suck, dude. <laughs> so I want to go back to the album for a second. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want you to tell the, uh, excuse me, tell the viewers everything they need to know about this project. Let them know why it's important to you. Okay. And and oh, yeah. what, what they should be ready for on July 4th. All right. That's fun. I like that. All right. So this project's really special to me. Um, this is the second project that I've done with CZ, CZ Wonder, my partner in crime in this. The faceless. And the faceless. CZ Wonder. The fa no face, <laughs> no case. You know, that's my bro. I get the camera. He just falls back. Watch my back. I watch his, you know, boom. But we was trying to figure out how to do the next album. And I called CZ, um, CZ Scorsese. Cause he's like a director, like Martin Scorsese yeah, shit. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm De Niro, you know what I'm saying? That's so we it. make movies together, so. He was calling me Tarantino <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Come on, I seen you setting up the shot today. He wasn't wrong. No, last night, yesterday, yeah. he was, yesterday we were filming a clip, he was looking at me, he's like, like one step, I'm like, one step, dude? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's crazy, it makes the biggest difference. No, it does, it really yeah. does. Well, I would just give him a hard time. I, of course. One of my biggest red flags is I hate being bad at something. Mm -hmm. So if I'm gonna do it, I get let's you. fucking I'm do it. I'm with you on that, I'm with you on that. So, CZ knows that I'm a big movie. I love yeah, yeah, yeah. movies, always have. So he came up with this wild idea, like, man, what if we made like a movie album? So I'm creative. So creative. And I'm thinking, when he first said it, you know, I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. No problem. That should be simple. I have no problem doing that, you know? Gentlemen, it was the most, it was the hardest writing assignment anyone's ever gave me. And I felt so confident at the beginning. I love that though. I'm like, yo, see, give me a fucking month, I'll knock this out the park. I'm like, you pick the <laughs> movies, you pick the movies. He's like, no, I'm gonna send you. He said, send me a list of like 30 movies that you love. And I was like, all right. And I still wasn't even 100% fully aware of what the project was gonna consist of. I was just like, we're gonna write about movies. Cool, send him my list. He sends back six movies that he picked out of my list that I sent him, right? Okay. I start sitting down trying to write, you know, and I'm kind of taking the easy route out as a rapper. I'm just rapping about, I don't know, a lot of references about the movie, dropping yeah, little yeah. things, whatever. And then I talked to CZ again and I kind of got more of an idea of what he was looking for on that Scorsese one step over shit. And he started explaining like, no, bro, I want you to like make it feel like if you never saw this movie, they're gonna understand that movie by the time they're done listening to the song. And I'm like, oh shit. And before you continue, yeah. you absolutely did that. Thank you, man. Like, no, Thank I'm, you, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like, I feel you. like I watched Goodfellas on the way over here. Thank you, dog. for like, real. That means a lot, man. So when I sat down to do it, I'm like, I started feeling a lot of pressure. And you know, sees my dog, I don't want to let him down. And shit. I don't want to call him and be like, yo, it's changed the idea for the project. I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Pressure's good though. Pressure's beautiful. So, awesome. Press, pressure is a privilege. It is, yeah, sure. you're right about it. I like that. You're right about that. So. Me, I know myself, you know, like we were talking about earlier, you got to know yourself and what you need. And I needed nature and I needed something weird because where I, wherever I was at, I wasn't getting the creativeness I needed for this type mm -hmm. of project. Bro, I get on um, b and B. I I find me a school bus that you can rent out and live in, in the middle of the mountains in New Hampshire, right? So I go out there, trip balls a couple of days in New oh. Hampshire, watching these movies over and over, Send right? me that link, though. I got you. Man. It's, it's dope as fuck, like really cool. So I'm over, the there. <laughs> I'm over there. I'm over here tripping. It's raining. I'm in this school bus, smoking a joint, watching Back to the Future over and oh, over. Like, yo. Cool. Next day, I went and sat by a lake on some chill shit, nature. And I just started writing and it started coming to me, coming to me, coming to me. I get back like, CZ, I did it. I got it. You know, <laughs> from there, CZ, he started doing just more Scorsese stuff like, oh, let's, let's, let's do this. Let's add that. Then, my brothers, when we did the oven track, that's what changed the whole dynamic as far as bringing y'all into it, man. So, yeah. You know, we, we can't believe, like, 
I told Franco, I told you guys, like, I never saw this on my path ever. Like, I, I didn't know, this. like, what, if you would have told me two years ago, yeah, you're going to be narrating an album. I'd be like, yeah, okay. Bro, well, do, do doing, no, doing ad libs on an album, check a, check a piece off my bucket list. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding, bro. Like, yeah, so I, I, it was funny, when we were talking, you're like, yo, mm -hmm. make sure you have, you know, a bucket list ready. Mm -hmm. I actually have, like, you know, a bucket list written down. You do. I have it on paper. Good shit. And like some of my, you got that for a while. You know, for a while, man. Yeah, I crossed some off. You know, okay. I, like my, one of them was, you know, one of I crossed off recently. Obviously, was Switzerland. Mm -hmm. It didn't say trip balls in Switzerland, but it should have. And like that's. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure at that. one point it started with Franco. Like, yo, we're gonna make a bucket list together. He put skydiving on there. I was like, oh, that, <laughs> that, that, that's your, that's your bucket list. Yeah, no, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Which is crazy. I did it once. I feel like I got to do it so that I'm just not scared of anything else. You know I know what I mean? it helps. Like I'll get going. I, I'll get going on that. But I got scared of bungee jumping after. I'd be more scared of bungee jumping. And bungee, than and people that bungee jump are scared of skydiving. It's the weirdest fucking thing. I think I'd be more scared of bungee jumping than I would of skydiving. Same. My yeah, biggest fear is that thing gonna snap. Thing snapping, man. I can't. Goodbye. Dog, I got a little fucking. I, 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 oh, <laughs> I got a little belly on me. Come on, bro. When I skydive, the dude, you know, you strapped to the guy or whatever, and we're about to go out. And, and I just grab his hand, right? He's like, what? I said, look, man, my name's Evan Jones. I love my life. You know, because I'm thinking, dog, this fucking guy's in control of everything right now. I don't know what to pull. And the crazy part is they told us when we got there, like, this is a family company. My wife does the shoots. And I'm just thinking, what if y'all fighting? What if y'all beefing? I don't want me to be involved. My mind's no. crazy. And this, then when this we, guy's like, you know, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna rip this cord bro, ten seconds later. And then we land, and homie tell me like, bro, no one's ever like kissed my hand and explained who they were before they flew. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm alive though. Yeah, <laughs> this might have been that day. We we're like, fuck it all. I'm not pulling the cord. <laughs> he wasn't gonna let anything happen. No, no. no. Honest, so it was cool, you know. Again, checking off the bucket list, doing the ad libs. And the you know, first thing that comes to mind, you know, I said it before, like, you know, bring, bring it from the top, it's easy. Mm -hmm. You're like, that's it. What would you call that? You know, like when Lil Wayne does like the lighter, like the lighter flick, what would that be called? Like an in, like a, it's like an intro. Excuse me, what you think? It's tag. It's tag. a tag. Tag. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, okay. that, that's like CZ tag. It's Lil Wayne's tag. Mm -hmm. If you were a rapper, what would your, like, I've thought That's a good question. My, like my tag, I'm going to get the mic nice and close for this. Mm -hmm. I would just go. <laughs> ah, I like that. <laughs> Not bad, right? <laughs> and then jump right in. It's just a little, it's just a quick. As if, as if I haven't heard his call since seasons and sniffles enough for the last 15 years. He's had the same sniffles since 2008. No, I've had a call since 2008. I don't understand. I, I, to be honest, like, I don't even know what my. Uh... I figured I didn't want to tell you that. No, that's a good question. You know, because, like, I mean, for me, like, I immediately, I, I think Uncle Murder, like, whoa. You know, like, but I was, I can't steal his, you know, but, uh, something along those lines. Ah, I don't know. Me know. I don't know. I don't have one. We'll come back. We'll revisit this. We'll revisit this. Yeah, maybe, maybe at dessert I'll let you know. But before we get to dessert, each of you, I want to know which is the next location or task on your bucket list. Which number, what's the number one item on each of yours right now? You want to go first, or I'm impressed you got that list, man. I want to yeah, know yeah, about dude. it. You know, Frank goes, I saw, I saw Frank goes I... like, cure this cough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man. Um, so I would, you know, there's there's three that really stick to mind. I mean, two really come to mind. Um, my first one would be smoke a joint under the northern lights. Oh, beautiful. I, I really want to do that. Good call. I want. I would love to have like one of those glass igloos mm -hmm. that you can just chill in. I know smoking, exactly what you're talking get, about. Get the whole get the whole experience. Mm -hmm. Either that. Or you know I want to I want to be a contestant on the Wheel of Fortune forever. Oh, that's fire. That's a so good list. That's, that's, a, that's mm -hmm. my that's my number two. I like that. And I re I'm telling you, I go on Wheel of Fortune, I'm winning Wheel of Fortune. See, like there's not a there problem. is not a doubt it's in not my mind. Question. Like if you get if I can look at the puzzle the whole time, mm -hmm. and not just when Pat Sajak is flashing back and forth, <laughs> I'm burying everyone on that on that panel. I'm, I'm telling in. you right now. Mm -hmm. No, if he came back after a bad performance on Wheel of Fortune, we would have to be I like wouldn't. on suicide watch. I wouldn't yeah, have nah, come nah, back. Nah, <laughs> it's not real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would, if I do bad, just don't. You, you got to find a new partner. Yeah, for real, it's over. Because I'm not getting back behind this camera. Yeah, that's a good one, bro. You know what? I know you know which no, number one right now on your list. Yeah, nah, that's pretty crazy. So. I'm about to most likely be living in New York for six months. All right, so since I was a kid, bro, you know, I'm a Boston boy. Fucking Celtics fans, Red Sox, all that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But, sell, sell out. Yeah, you know, being <laughs> time. But I've always been very interested by y'all city. It's just very interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? And I've always had a thing like, y'all want to live in New York for at least six months and see how it feels. Boom. And CZ's out here to do my music, whatever. So after coming back from Thailand, I feel like a... A little more confident about it. 
Like, man, I can go set up shop wherever, wherever. and be fucking Gucci. So it's like, I want to do this because I want to knock it out. Because with the bucket list, right? I want to have a family one day. I want to do all that one day. I want to have a little wifey, all that, right? But there's certain stuff you need to do now or it's not probably going to work out. Understand. You get me? So mm-hmm. I, I have my bucket list items that I could do when I'm 60. And I got shit that needs to get done now. Yep. So if I'm going to do New York and I'm going to bust it out real quick, I think I need to do it like right now. Right now, I'm not tied down to anything. It's like a perfect time where the universe is like, bro, go handle that check real quick. Get it done. Because I got a vision board in my room, too, like what I want in yep. the next yep. five years. And it has Thailand, live in New York. I want to go to Malta for a little bit. You ever heard of Malta? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So it has no property tax. I feel like so many people have no idea what Malta is. I know, is. it's great. I know what Malta is. I have no idea where it is. Bro, it's in the best part of it is the location. It's like a fisherman town in the middle of like Italy, Spain. But if you go straight out, you get into like Africa. Okay. So it's in the yeah, middle yeah. of It's perfect for if you were had a boat or some shit. But we're going to park the oven yacht there when we exactly. make it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We'll and all do it together. And there's no property tax if you buy property there. That's what originally attracted me to Malta. Yeah. So those are my two right there is, is spend some time in Malta and do my New York check. Well, I like that he has like the ones for like when he's 60, you know? It's yeah, like, of it's course, like, it's important. I mean, you gotta to keep living. You gotta keep living. Check this shit out, right? So I used to work at the W Hotel in South Beach for like okay. four years. All type of rich folks is coming in. Bill Gates is playing tennis. And remember, it's like, damn, there's a lot of money in the building. This, this changed me a lot too. When I was there and I saw all these rich people, bro, I would say over 50% of them did not seem happy. Right? Mm-hmm. So I started going down the rabbit hole. I'm a thinker. I go crazy with thoughts. But I started thinking, damn, how the fuck they wouldn't be happy, man? Yeah. Okay, I have a theory. Right? Say, you get, say this all works out for all of us and we're all exactly where we want to be. We got money. We can take care of our family. Boom, boom, boom. Now, that, we just accomplished our dreams, right? And that's what we almost live for is to feel like we succeeded at something, right? Now, once you succeed, you got money. You just checked a lot of shit off your list, right? Now, what happens the next time you fail and you don't have that to look up to again? That might be really hard for a rich person. When they get depressed, money's not going to fix it no more. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah like I've been that's, analyzing that's, this shit that, for a long inside, time. Man. Yeah, so I started thinking, fuck, man, what if I got rich? And then I got depressed. I'd be like, that would be some ironic shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I started thinking about, okay, what would I want to do as an older dude? Like one day I want to start like a, a jazz band with like four dudes. Probably like my 60s, like just sitting around, joining my mouth. I don't know if I'll do the guitar, the sax or something. Exactly. So it's just weird shit that it's like, I could do that when I'm older. Yeah. You know? Well, it's like, I mean, it's like you said in coming attractions, bro. Go hard my whole life, then die a fly old man. Fly old man. That's, that's it. the goal. You know? Mr. Dos Equis. Then Mr. Dos Equis. Never been that's it. <laughs> Almost quit a couple that's times, it, but man. my passion won't let me. Yeah, nah, that's, that's how I would like to vision it, man. Sexy old dude that checked a lot, everything off his bucket list and whatever's left on that bucket list, I can look at my son and say, yo, if you want to try this for take power, yeah. you take it over, but write your own. Yeah. But if you want to, you know, check those out. Right. I love exactly. that. That's a great segue to dessert. Uh-huh. And I got another question after mm-hmm. dessert about coming attractions. So Word. Mm-hmm. All right, we got the mochi, the strawberry for the gentleman to my right. I got the vanilla. I'm a vanilla guy. Yeah, basic, bro. It's like, it's like that's why you're wearing the pinstripes today. <laughs> that's it. Listen, listen. If you're not wearing, the, if you're not wearing the Yankees New York away jersey, the cleanest jersey in all of sports, at least you don't have a, at least you don't have a last name on the back there. Or do I you? No, no name. No name. All right, good. Because if not, I was gonna say uh, take that off while your wife beat her. <laughs> you want me to? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I paid a lot of money for this tattoo. <laughs> so. We talked about real quick about, I mean, not real quick. We talked mm-hmm. about Rise. Pause. I'm going to have you redo that. I'll cut that. Okay. Pick your tooth. You got something in your tooth. Thank you. Yeah, that's how, that's very nice of you, man. I hate when people don't good, tell me good, that Good, 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 good. Wow. You don't, don't cut that. <laughs> good. <laughs> don't say I never did anything for you. <laughs> so coming back, you know, coming attractions right off the bat. Mm. It has that funk, dude. It Thank has that funk really. that gets you right into the album. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end, it says second album coming. Drop the single first, so you know we off to something. Mm-hmm. So easy and see, they got the, they got the, 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 the it, it, it has a good ring to it. Oh yeah. What's, what's coming? We got, we got a, we got a, oh, another album coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so can we, can we talk about that? Or? Yeah, nah. So that line was basically just saying, you know, let, cause they're gonna hear that first, right? Just as a single. So yep. they're gonna hear that, and they're gonna be. I'm, I'm just letting them know, yo, we dropped the single. You know what I'm saying? 
let y'all know we up to something. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the album coming. So yeah, I was referencing that the okay. the that Rise album. album. But yeah, me and CZ ain't stopping, dude. We on some gangstar shit like Guru and Premier. Like, okay. Me and CZ gonna make music for a long time. Just keep ripping. Yeah, man. we gonna keep ripping, man. And you, know, you talking about your big mo- uh, big movie guy. I'm a big movie big guy. Big movie guy. Big I mean, you have guy. so many different you know references in this in this album to to the different to you know the different. Yeah. Movies. And you know, Back to the Future, mm-hmm. The Hangover. Mm-hmm. So I was looking up, you know, Back to the Future and The Hangover, in my opinion, are some of the, the best trilogies in all oh, movies. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. And I'm looking, so I was looking up, you know, top tri- no, top 25 trilogies. Yeah. Do you know that The Hangover isn't even in the top 25? Really? I feel like comedies get a bad rap. They do. They do. Absolutely. I think The Hangover is like, not every every one of them is funny. Mm-hmm. Like even even oh, like, I, I to me, I Tyler think the great. first the first Hangover is. It oh, is without a the doubt. best by without far. A doubt. Which is usually the case in a yep. trilogy. Yep. You know, if yep. you, in my opinion, sometimes it's number two. Once in a while, it's number three. Mm-hmm. But usually, th- three is kind of. Scream, Scream Two, I think, takes the case. Scream Two is fire. Yep. Yeah, they did good <laughs> on that one. Yeah, I went to the spot, the uh, Sky Bar that they shot Hangover Two, the scene at. Really? Yeah, man, it was super cool, man. That's awesome. Super bucket list. It was very like Taurus prices, and I was like, mm-hmm. I don't care. Oh yeah. They even <laughs> got the the Hangover teeny. I was like, I'm here. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm oh, they go. have they have a hangover. Oh, they have here. a hangover uh, teeny on that. Yeah, bro. So all the haggling you did with the people on the street to get I their prices down, the you're spending money over there. with the hangover thing. Yeah. See, the bucket list thing, man. It's like my ex girl. My mom says it sometimes too. She's like, it's almost like an addiction for you. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it is. You know, because because once I'm there and I'm sitting there and I'm at this place and the view's so dope and I'm thinking of the scene from Hangover. I'm like, that was really fucking cool to be here. Hey, man. Why would I not get a drink? Yeah. I man. get it because it's that expensive, but I'm like, these memories are priceless for me, man. Of course. Yeah. It's the experience. Bro. And then I start thinking about the other shit I might spend that, whatever, $38 on. Crazy, yeah, I'll admit it. I paid Wait, like $38 that. for a drink? I did, I did. Bro. That shit better drink itself. I know, I know. God, yeah, man. yeah. I gotta be real, right? Can't lie to y'all. Can't, <laughs> can't just say the highlights. Yeah, nah. I paid he 30. had one of the chicks with dicks uh, feed, you know, feeding it to him. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I never seen in my life no scary shit like that. And I'll tell you what I mean, bro. I'm walking down uh, Soy Cowboy. We're in Bangkok, right? Soy Cowboy is like the red light district of Bangkok. District? <laughs> and you walk through and there's just chicks outside in outfits telling you come in the little strip clubs and trying to you know get you inside oh god bam it starts pouring outside right so me and my boy we caught onto this thing smoking a joint just chilling waiting for the rain to stop look across there's a bunch of chicks looking at you being like, hey how you doing poppy da, da, da. i'm just sitting there like okay i look up this shit says uh <laughs> Lady boy bar. <laughs> Literally, they ain't even fucking lying about it. I look up and I'm like, yo, son. <laughs> I'm like, look up, look up, man. You know what I'm saying? Back, like, what's up, Papa? Because, bro, so I live in Miami and, you know, South Beach, I've been dealing with that shit a long time, but yeah. it's different. Like, mm. you see a motherfucker like a basketball player size, like, you ain't fooling nobody. Yeah. Like, you're not a threat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, yeah. but these motherfuckers is like pretty. It's some real messed up, yeah, deep fucked up shit. So, so yeah, my, we, Miami is like that. Actually, yeah, you know, Miami's we, wild. We were there for I don't want to say who we were there with because I don't want to bury him on on camera. <laughs> but we were there was a couple of us there for Halloween, and it was like end of the night. We're walking down the strip in Brickle, and uh, one of my boys is uh, there's a group of Power Ranger girls mm-hmm. walking in front of us, and my boy's like, "Oh my god, yo, I shiny green, shiny green." So I run up, I walk, and it's all dudes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> green, I was, green had the print in the costume. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking. Up. I turned around, looked at, I was like. Mm-hmm. No, you don't. <laughs> I got a classic story about this. I worked security for years at the nightclubs too, right? And uh, you know, we would have a lot of like transsexuals that would come. Mm-hmm. You got out of town that are from like a small town in like Idaho or some shit. Mm-hmm. They probably never been to a spot like this. And they'll be walking out with one on their arm or whatever for, oh, for years. Christ. Trying to be a good dude. I'll be like, hold on guys, one second. I'll be like, you're my man, just so you know, like that's that's a dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell him just to give him the heads up. Da, da, da. One day I do this shit to this guy, yeah two on his arm, right? French dude. Probably should have known better, but I'm like, yo, my man, just so you know, those are dudes, he's gonna be like, don't tell me what to, what to like. And I'm like, oh, I get it. Oh, yeah. It was a lesson for me that day. Like, yo, you never know what people yeah, are here yeah, for. Yeah. And then you think about Tyler and all the lady boys, like, 
we ain't going for that shit, but there sure are a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure that's, that's not a coincidence. Yeah, that's why like, that's why it's a thing. Exactly. So there's people who go for them and leave with them. It's a it's a it's, a it's a it's an eye opening, mind blowing experience when you see that. But you're like, damn, that's real though. Yeah. That's the reality of it. That you French know? guy looked at you like, I know. He looked at me <laughs> like, dog, don't hate on what I'm doing, and I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't know. Like, I was trying to be cool, bro. Have you guys ever got like fooled on like a dating app or something with like a a, a trans? Nah, bro. I never, I don't really fuck with dating now. Yeah. I'm not good on it. I'm, 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 I'm an old school dude. Yeah. I'm not good with technology. I need to meet a shorty like, mm -hmm. one time I'm in Miami, I'm walking home. This is years ago. I'm fucked up. I'm so coming back from a club across the street. Chick's like, hey. I got like halfway across the street before I'm like, you motherfucker. You know? <laughs> because, you know, we have a thing in Miami and it's not for that, but it's for like when you're at the beach because everyone looks sexy coming off the water. It's a thing. Baywatch thing, yeah. right? But we always think like, she looked good from afar, but far from good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I've heard that before. Uh, so there's a lot of that. And that almost got me caught up that now I'm faded. You know, I got the triple vision, but halfway across the street, I'm like, nah, nah, nah. You ain't fooling me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, got a little, I got a little mini oven question for you. Oh, let's go. How many raccoons do you think you could fight at one time and survive? Damn, now nah, this is what I wanted. Yeah, dude. Because that's a fucking real question. I'll I don't give you, know. I'll give you a backstory, oh, okay? Right. I'm, I just wanted to drink my Dr. Pepper the other night mm -hmm. and smoke my my cigar hey man. and i was i was editing clips for us mm -hmm. right i saw you say dr pepper is almost as good as having a drink right so i was looking up okay. alternatives mm -hmm. to whiskey because i mean there's nothing better than whiskey and, and yeah. a cigar mm -hmm. but i can say so many things better than whiskey and cigar the, <laughs> the, the flavors <laughs> of the dr pepper really bring out the cigar so that it, it worked okay. well if you're trying to avoid alcohol Boom. but the raccoons mm -hmm. i'm sitting there i'm smoking my cigar it's dark in the backyard mm -hmm. i got one light just on me and the, and the computer and all of a sudden i see the yeah, glare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight eyes looking at me from behind the shed. I'm like, yo, mm. what is that? So I get up, I look. Luckily, it was just, uh, luckily it was just um, a mom and three little ones. Okay. So I was- Honestly, even- it, I was scary. about to say that It was scary was, because yeah. you know that mom would do something mm -hmm. crazy for those little mm -hmm. ones. So I'm thinking, if, if shit went down, because now, like, my neighbors can kind of see in my backyard. Mm -hmm. So if they come at me, I'm not running. I got to fight. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> I'm so, running, though. No, I might run, too. How I many? Run too. <clears throat> I like how you're thinking. Um, it's a death match. I feel like... And I just got my hands. It's in their hands and your hands. I'm just... I feel like I could rock with, like... <laughs> four to five before it became a real problem for me. Oh, I was going to say, like, 40, bro. Yeah. 40 raccoons? I'm kicking the shit out of these raccoons. No, these little 40's bitches. a lot. They Yo, got teeth. How's the raccoon they gonna got kill hands. Me? What's it gonna do? Yeah, okay. We're not, we talking to the deaf? Yeah, yeah to the fucking 55. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take on 71. Bring all the raccoons. Yeah. We'll take out all I the raccoons. I thought if it's like before I get seriously injured or I get my eye cut or something. Because they, they, they kind of trip. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die three days later in the hospital from rabies mm. and after I beat the shit out of all these guys. I'm gonna go with Franco on that, dude. You remember <laughs> Baseball Plus? You remember Baseball Plus? Well, you had a bad experience. I worked at a place, a batting cage that. I'm walking past, and this is deep, dude. Like, the cage just goes to, like, that building down there. Okay. So, like, I'm walking back, and I see a tail hanging off of the, the, the rafters. I look up. I do the double take, book into the yeah, infield. Yeah. Call my boss. I'm like, hey, bro, there's a huge fucking raccoon. Mm -hmm. He's like, they're back. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> you mean they're back? <laughs> He's like, it's been, like, two years, man. I'm like, well, what do we, it, like, mm -hmm. so from then on, we had a guy, it was a batting cage. We had yeah. a guy kill one in the back with a bat. I mean, if they're coming down, the middle yeah, of the day, you got kids there. You yeah, got yeah, 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 some guy, yeah, bro. But speaking of movies, mm -hmm. the best raccoon clip from a movie to me is Saving Silverman. Oh, He's like, dude, oh, you're call. so cute. Yeah. Where you, where's your mom? <laughs> <laughs> good call, good call, bro. So I haven't seen I that in a while. Getting away from the movies, I'm gonna go mm -hmm. to TV shows quick because mm -hmm. in, your, in your in the last EP, the 3.0, yes, uh, it was grew up on Biggie Smalls and Nick at Night. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about Nick at Night shows, bro. Mm -hmm. and like, you know, the kids nowadays, like the 2010 Nick at Night, like mm -hmm. it's not, it wasn't the 2000s, it wasn't the 90s. No. Like it was different shows, you know. Like Completely. I mean, what, what was one of your favorite like Nick at Night shows? Mario probably didn't even watch Nick at Night. Nick at Night was the shit, man. Wasn't not up there, like yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what was. So like, are you afraid of the dark? Was great. Okay, see, I was big on like the, I was like big the on Fresh that. Prince. Obviously. I was big on that. If I had to choose, I would say Fresh Prince. Right. Growing like, up, I thought I was the Fresh Prince. Baby. <laughs> I, I would study that man. I thought I was a mix of Fresh Prince and Method Man. That dude. That's that a wild was, thing, and I really dude. truly believed it. Yeah. So I was in love with Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, of course. Growing up, like if I could have a cat, I'm naming him Salem, no matter what. Yeah, bro. No matter what. And that was uh. That was Mary. What's uh, her name? Uh, Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah, bro. Yeah, from. Yeah. The fucking thing she got famous from before that. 
Oh, she did that. Is she Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No, nah, like that? that was uh, not a joke. Uh, yeah, that was Jessica Love Hewitt? Yeah. No. What was she? No, I, thought, I, thought she, I thought she got famous from Sabrina. She was in another movie that Oh, was. that's going to bother me, bro. It was like Vampire Alex Wilder. Mack. Oh, that's what it is. I think that's from a Nickelodeon show, and she was like a really smart scientist chick. Really? I could swear I think it's Alex Mack. We're going to fact check this, but... Yeah, my Nickelodeon skills is pretty on <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like that describes me too. Nickelodeon and Biggie Smalls, man. You can't lose your kid. Yeah. You can't lose. My company, when I start my nonprofit, is going to be called Don't Lose Your Dinosaur. You know that scene from Step Brothers? Of course, bro. Yeah. That's my favorite scene from yeah. a movie, bro. Because it was so real. It's like, dog, you can't lose your dinosaur. Yeah, that's when you lose yourself. Bro. You that's do? When you, that's when you, 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 no matter how old you get, no matter where you are in life, you have to do what excites you yeah. and and that totally goes along with the bucket list mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so i can totally yeah. see why that would be your Keeps thing you young man yeah you know but before we finish up tell Talk everyone they can find you okay shit. everywhere easy the phoenix easy with a z if you want to talk music if you want to talk bucket list it's straight up the bucket list specialist boom on everything every site everything. youtube all that holla at me or just rewatch this episode a couple more times. <laughs> <laughs> nice and easy. And shout out CZ Wanda. Yeah, man. CZ Wanda. Come on, CZ on man. CZ Scorsese. That's it. Let's go. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Oh, Before no, anything, man. No, dude, we Thank appreciate you, my brother. This, 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 this is like really. You ain't done yet. No, nah, I don't want, but before, <laughs> you <ain't done> <laughs> before any cameras get cut, I just want to say I truly appreciate y'all. No, I appreciate it. Hey, yo, we you, appreciate, we appreciate Real, you taking the ride home for this. Oh, I mean, Come on. Straight yeah, from still, Thailand. Still be chilling in Thailand, man. Say you want to sit with us in the other. So. I would rather be here. I love it. I can go back to Thailand. You know what I'm saying? It. Hey, we can do this whenever we want. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but so I, usually I got one question for you at this, but I, you know, you, since you've been traveling the world mm -hmm. and stuff, I had to add another one. Um, Matt, I don't even think Mario knows about this one. I had to ask you, if you could eliminate one thing from the world, what would it be? Damn, that's good, bro. That's actually really good. Ha! It's gonna sound wild, but trash, man. Mm. Trash is fucked up, man. It's fucking up the environment. You know, I live in Miami. People come there, party, leave all this shit on the beach, yeah, and all man. the residents that live there are like, yo, I promise you, no one that lives there does that. Of course, bro. So when you travel, don't fucking litter, bro, because it's like we got this one world, and that might sound corny, I don't care. If I had to choose one thing to eliminate, it would be that. Second thing would be bad energy. And I can keep fucking going, but those are my two. <laughs> <laughs> you, see those, you see those guys made, so they talk talking about the turtles where they, they, they choke on like the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the rappers. The, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they made the, it's like a turtle feed. It's like a fish mm -hmm. feed. It's like, how about this? How about you just don't fucking put it in the water? That'd be nice. Like, yeah. you know, that'd, that'd be nice, well, bro. Well, I mean, the alternative the, is yeah. cool, but. Yeah. The great thing is now they're finding like, uh, it is. Great ways to mm -hmm. form the trash into certain, uh, yep. I guess, c compositions where they can make it a structure mm -hmm. and throw it somewhere into the ocean. So oh, then when sense. it gets to the bottom, I saw that. It, it turns into. That was genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was home. really cool. And an enemy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see the water garbage cans they made? Yeah. No, those, bro, those are yeah. awesome. It's like, it creates like a a fusion of the water coming in and going out and everything that it, it obviously it catches stays mm. in this can and the water comes out. Yeah, it's pretty fucking amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. It's nuts to see how much they pull yeah. out. Like yeah. when I'm shrooming, no, really when I'm shrooming in nature, I will 100% start picking up shit I find. Oh, if I can, I'm if like I, that. I'll get a find a plastic bag, <laughs> put it on my hip, and I'll just... He's, he's tripping on trees, picking up trash, and wiping bro. himself with his Come on, man. <laughs> I always said, I'm, I'm a hood hippie, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, part yeah. of me hood, part of me is like, bro, this nature is everything, yeah, man. Yeah, man. So um, one last one for you, man. Uh, one, one person that you could sit down to dinner with and ask any question to, they got to answer. Who would it be, dead yeah, or alive? Just one. No Fuck cheating. No. You got to pick one. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, okay. Because I have a thing on my bucket list that I want to have dinner with, uh... <laughs> David Goggins, Tom Brady, and Nas. My yeah. brother said it's impossible. You sound, you sound like this man over here. I, I asked him that. He gives us three. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So now I'm going to answer it if I had to choose one. I probably would have picked Tom Brady if he was still with Giselle. But. <laughs> nah, man. I think I might have to go Tom and B. I like that Tom Brady. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm a Boston boy. I'm yeah. a boy. I always say this. You know, say, oh, he cheated. He did this. I said, let me tell you what Tom Brady did. He brought me and my family so much happiness over the years. I don't really give a fuck what he does on his free time or whatever he did. Mm -hmm. He's human. He's human. He's human. But I love Goggins. You know, he had two heart surgeries. Yeah, man. He's a badass. 
Let me tell you about something about Tom Brady, though. He always loses at least one game to the fins up, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts, right, son. And imagine, so <laughs> I lived in fucking Miami the last 17 years. Oh, dude. And Boston and Miami never even had sports beef, like, till I moved in. Yeah. <laughs> and since then, it's been the heat, the Celtics, yeah, Celtics the, fucking, yeah, yeah. the Panthers versus the Bruins. I'm like, fucking hell. So, yeah, man, it's got to be along those lines of one of them three. Or, or you know, I would... Yeah, it's one of them three. One of them three. Uh, yeah. Done deal. Yeah, nice man. and easy. Yeah, man. It's tough to pick just one. It's it's, especially up. when we don't give you the heads up. Yeah, man. nah, that's question. a tough one right there, man. <laughs> but you yeah. did good. Yeah. You did good. I'm yeah. still now I'm still going over it, yeah. man. I always <laughs> question my answers, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Tommy on that. Awesome. Well, this awesome. Awesome. has been a good time, bro. It, We're full. This it, is it's, amazing. It's so nice to be back home in Nomia. Thanks. Garden City, Roosevelt Field Mall. Anytime you guys are passing in the area, you want some good Asian fusion, the best Asian fusion, this is your spot. Mario, take us home, baby. I got to give you my spiel. Follow us on all socials. Keep sharing the show. That's most important. Second most, subscribe. Spank that subscribe button if you haven't already. And like we like to say, there's always an open seat for you on the oven. Yes, sir. We out. Keep it cooking in the oven. Yep, 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 yep,